just need to get a copy of the SEC ruling against Chandler so I can put out a press release. Thank you. Oh, thank God. JR. I... Oh, hey. Hi. Sorry, I think I must have taken one of your bags by mistake and we're together early. Oh, that's all right. Thanks for, for bringing it back. So, I heard the news. Chandler lost Cortland Electronics. How's JR taking it? I wouldn't know. He stormed out of here before I got a chance to talk to him. Oh, that's just JR in business mode. You can't take it personally. Mm. No. No, God forbid I take anything JR says personally. Or anything he doesn't say. What do you mean? I told him I love him, and he didn't say anything. Oh. Yeah, oh. He just stood there like a statue and then practically threw me away in the bathroom while Caleb showed up because nobody could know we're together. Well, isn't that oh. your deal? Because what? of the custody thing with Marissa? JR's hurting right now. I mean, this news is probably killing him, and I want to be able to be there for him and comfort him, and I can't. It's like it's not even allowed. Annie, I... I do not feel like the woman that JR loves. I feel like some chick being stashed away, and I hate it. No, no, just trust me. This is a minor setback. No, we're getting a handle on it. Just, just hold tight. There's no reason to be bailing on Chandler. All right. What the hell were you thinking giving Caleb my hotel information? You told me if it was an emergency. Oh, yes. No. No, 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 no. Will you answer that? Which one? I don't care. I told you I can't talk until I get a handle on this. J.R. Chandler's line. I think you might want to take this call. I told you no calls. What is so hard to comprehend about that? It's your father. Hello? Hello? Victory is so sweet. Huh? Yeah. It certainly is. Well, you certainly look in a mood to celebrate. You bet I am. Isn't that why you're here? Why else? So, did you, uh, you see JR? Did I see JR? I saw JR turn about seven shades of white. I don't think I've ever seen somebody's blood actually leave their face. He just stood there. Oh. I wish you'd been there to see it. Pete had seen it, he would have been doing a dance. Oh, I think Palmer was already doing a dance himself anyhow for you. I'm sure Palmer's very proud of you. I, I know I am. I owe you an apology. An apology? Yeah. I mean, Pete knew what he was doing when he put us together as partners, and I was just bullheaded and stubborn, and it just took me a while to figure it out. Well, I'm glad you did. Mm -hmm. I am pretty amazing. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> you know, we can make this company great again. I've already got some plans. I'm thinking about creating a position for Asher. For your son? Yeah. It's very impressive. We did it. We did it, Dorothy. I don't think I've ever seen you so happy. I don't remember the last time I felt this good. Feels good to be back in the game. And I... May I drink for both of us? Please. I owe most of it to you. Hey, I think we need to talk. I think we've said all we need to say. Not about us, about Madison. I'm worried about her. That's funny. Have you spoken to her recently? Yes. And you don't have to pretend to care too much longer. She's leaving town. She is? When? For how long? Soon. Indefinitely. But I would guess probably for good. You look surprised. I am. Well, I can't imagine why. I mean, obviously, seeing you and Ryan together is very painful for her. I mean, who, why would she want to stick around? I tried to convince her to brave it out. I didn't realize the two of you had become friends. Well, Madison has pitched in for me lately when I just couldn't deal.
And now, thanks to you, she can't do that anymore. She must have a lot going on through her mind right now. It simply is what it is. You win, and somebody else loses. Hey, Madison, perfect timing. This, this is uh, Dr. Chow. She's a trauma specialist. OK. Mr. Lavery told me about your gunshot wound. Said there may be complications. I've scheduled a complete physical for you first thing tomorrow morning. I look forward to seeing you. Great, thanks. Well, what was that all about? Well, I just I thought maybe you could get a second opinion for your shoulder. What, what about stay out of my life was unclear? I told you I wanted you to stay out of my business, OK? My welfare is none of your concern. Oh, uh, all right. Well, I kind of feel like it is, to some degree, because David was coming after me when, when you got shot, so. With his gun. His fault, not yours. So you can stop hanging on to me because of your guilt. Uh, no? No, it's just, uh, I hurt you, Madison. And I guess I just, I want, I want to help, that's all. Yeah, I know. But I do not want to be poor, poor Madison to you. And what, what does Greenlee think about all this? Greenlee knows exactly how I feel. Yeah. I'm sure she's very understanding. Like I was when you kept running off to her rescue. Remember that? Look, Greenlee doesn't, doesn't mean you any harm at all. Greenlee would like for me to evaporate. OK? And you know what? That's the same thing that I wished for her. Painless but permanent evaporation. Look, I, I, I really do understand how you feel. No, Ryan, okay? you don't. There is no way you could possibly understand how I'm well, feeling. Well, then help me. Please, help me. Explain it to me. Let me know what's going on with you. JR cares about you, right? I mean, he's made that pretty clear, hasn't he? Yeah. That's kind of the problem. It's like things go from being really good, and then they go to being really bad. Are we still talking about JR? We're talking about my life. Oh, there are so many nights I've sat up with Emma being like, this is it, sweetie. Mommy's finally really going to be happy now with Ryan, with Adam, with, with, with Scott, and then something always happens to blow it up. Every time I'm really close to getting what I want, something gets in the way. Maybe that something is you. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Oh, wait, nice. Listen, what I mean is love is not always about saying the words. It is about the hard stuff that comes after that. You know, and I finally found it with Jake, but it took me a long time to trust it, and I, I am still learning. So what, you're saying I should just smile and shut up? No, no, I think that you have absolutely every right to know how JR feels about you. But if everything is going as well as you say it is, then, then trust that and just wait it out. The words will come. Just be patient. I should have known that I'd see you. This all makes perfect sense. What? What happened? Well, Marissa, your uh, mentor Caleb didn't give you the big news. Yeah, well, the SEC ruled in his favor. You got Cortland back. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> How about, um, he won. I lost. The game is over. No, I, I know that this is a business setback, but, but it's not the end of the world. This is a catastrophe, Marissa. The entire company is going under. Are you talking about all of Chandler? No. JR, it couldn't be that Marissa, bad. have you seen our stocks? The entire company's free-falling right now. The board's going nuts. My father called me. You spoke to Adam? Yeah, my father called, but I haven't even talked to him. I don't even know what I'm going to say to him. What am, what am I supposed to say? That I blew it, Dad? That, 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 that you couldn't trust me again? I'm sorry. Now, you want to know what the worst part about this is? I jeopardized my sons. His entire future. That's not true. No, but I made a promise to my son, Marissa. No, our son doesn't care about a corporation, you know, or how much money you have or how powerful you are. Our son... He cares about his dad. 
and the love you have for him, the, the fun you guys have together when it's just the two of you and you can be a big kid too. Yeah, well, this big kid just drove the company right into the ditch. Listen, you'll figure something out. You've been through a lot worse. The, a year ago, for example, remember? I don't really remember. I was too busy dying. But you didn't. And I think a lot of that was because you had people who weren't going to let you go without a fight. The whole family sat and prayed for you to come back to us because you were their, their father or their son or their brother. Because their lives wouldn't be the same if you hadn't pulled through. But you did. And that is what matters to your son. Because you're his dad. You're a good dad. And you lived for him.